Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So last time we did these two questions. Can a woman send marriage proposal to a man? Yes, she can. A man and a woman did nikah, but the man died before consummating the marriage. So, will the woman get inheritance? Yes, yes. she will. Assalamu alaikum. Like a normal lady, and she needs to complete her idah. Okay, Ms. Muhammad, read this one. It was narrated that Aisha said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will enter upon me and say, do you have anything, any food? If we said no, he will say, then I am fasting. So he will continue fasting. Then if we were given some food, he would break his fast. She says sometimes he will fast and then break fast. That is combined fasting and breaking fast in one day. I say, how was that? She said like the one who goes out with charity, something to give charity and he gives some away and he keeps some. And let's suppose... You are fasting these days. Okay, let's suppose today you are fasting. Okay. Let me remove this thing. So let's suppose you are fasting today. And Miss Food brings a delicious food which is your favorite meal as well, okay? Maybe she brought a Pakistani biryani and biryani food is your favorite food, but you are fasting. Can you break your fast? Uh, no, I can't. This is optional fast, so you can break it. Okay. Okay. If you break, but will this... I get uh, will I get reward for like fasting a little then breaking it? Yes, you you will get that reward for what you have fasted. For example, your voice is too much cutting. I can hear you properly. Hold, uh, Miss Umayyamat, can you hear us clearly? Yes, I can hear you and hold clearly. This main problem is on the whole side. So optional fast can be broken. There is nothing wrong in it. Okay. We can. Uh, okay. Only um, like Ramadan, you can't break. Yeah. Yes. Ramadan is necessary. Rest of mm -hmm. the fasting are optional. If you keep oh, them good, if you don't keep nothing wrong, you can break them whenever you want. Only Ramadan fasting is necessary. Okay. Can you break a voluntary fast without any reason, without any serious reason? So the answer is yes, we can. According to the Hadith, 1701 of Sunan Ibn Majah. Yes, you can. Miss Ho, do you hear us? Ms. Muhammad, read the next one. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Amr al-Qari said, I had Abu Huraira say, 
No, by the Lord of the Kaaba, I did not say. Whoever wakes up in state of sexual impurity and wants to fast, then he must not fast. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Read the next one. It was narrated that Aisha said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to spend the night in a state of sexual impurity. Then Bilal will come to him and inform him that it's time for prayer. So he would get up and have a bath and I will see the water dripping from his head. Then he will go out and I will hear his voice during Fajr prayer. One of the narrator, Muttarif, said, I say to Amir, was that during Ramadan? He said in Ramadan and at other times. In the next one as well. It was narrated that Nafi said, I asked Um Salam about a man who gets up in the morning when he is in state of sexual impurity and wants to fast. She said, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to get up in the morning in a state of sexual impurity after having intercourse, not from a wedding. Then he will take a bath and complete his fast. So this thing is very important for the young boys. Today book name is Sunan Ibn Maja. I forgot the name of your son again. Can you remind me again, please? Ahmed. Ahmed, yes. I always forget his name. So, okay. Mr. Ahmed one day woke up in the Ramazan and he is in the state of impurity because of the wet dream. Wet dream is very common among the unmarried men especially. It is a normal thing for them. Or we can say a medically necessary thing for them. So he woke up in the state of wet dream. So he needs a bath, Islamic bath. He needs to perform Islamic bath. But time is short. So he has only time to eat some food so that he can fast. He does not have the time for bath. Very short time is remaining. So now can he fast without taking the bath? Yes. He has to take a, he has to take the bath. So, but uh, if he take bath, then he cannot eat food for the sahar, for the suhoor. Then he will have to fast without eating anything for the whole day. He will fast then afterwards he will take bath. Yes. According to this hadith, he can fast, he can f eat food oh. and do normal thing. Once he has eaten the food, and then he will take the bath and perform the salah. Okay. So Janaba, because of the wet dream or having intimacy with the wife does not break or we can fast in it. But once the fast is started, then you can take the bath. Okay. Can a man start fast in the state of Janaba? So it happens to many boys almost every day. Sometimes they wake up in the state of Janaba because of the bedroom and very little time is left in the suhoor meal. So they are shortage of time. So answer is yes. They can start the fast in the state of Janaba. And after eating the food, they can take the bath. According to the Hadith 1704 of Sunan Ibn Manja. So yes, they can start the fast. 
and after completing the meal after complete eating the food they can take the bath okay did you understand or shall give i give you practical example with time no we understood okay. Miss Hood, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear. Yes, I okay. can hear. Read this. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Shifi uh, that his father said, the Prophet wasallam said, whoever fasts, Continuously, he neither fast nor breaks his fast. Read the next one as well. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Amr uh, that the messenger of Allah said, There is no fasting for one who fasts continuously. So this is for those person who let's suppose fast regularly without any break. So they will not get any reward. Reward is for only those fast which is according to the sunnah. A fast which is not according to sunnah, it has no reward. No need to write any question without people these days. I don't see them fasting daily for optional fast. So, so Muhammad, next. It was narrated from Abdul Malik bin Minhal from his father that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to enjoin fasting the bright days, the 13th, 14th, and the 15th, when the moon is full. He said it is like fasting for a lifetime. Another chain from Al Qais. Now read this one. It was narrated from Abu Dhar that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever fasts three days in every month, that is fasting for a lifetime. Then, in testimony of that, Allah revealed, Whoever brings a good deed shall have ten times the light thereof to, to his credit. So, one day is equivalent to ten rewards. In this one. It was narrated from Mu'ad al adawiyah that Aisha said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast three days of each month. I said which were they? She said he did not care which days they were. Okay. Now we have two things. Look here. This hadith is sahih. And this, these two are daif hadith. Sahih hadith tells us that Prophet used to fast three days of every month. Okay? Three days of every month. This daif hadith tells us that he used to fast for the 13th, 14th and 15th of the month, but it is not necessary. It is just an optional. So better sunnah is you can fast any three days of the month. Okay, this is the first thing. Second thing. You have fast like uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, you can fast Monday and then another day, Thursday, but as long as it's three days a month. It is up to you. You can choose any three days. Days are not mentioned in any Sahih days. Okay. So here this hadith just tells you that you can fast any three days of each month. Now it is up to you which three days you choose. Choice is your. Maybe you can choose every Sunday. Okay, one Sunday you are home, so you fast. Next Sunday, two fast. Next Sunday, three fast. Then the second thing. Man, this is Quranic ayah of Surah Naam, ayah 160. Man jaa bil hasanati 
فلاح اشر امثالیہ ہو ایور برنگز اے گڈ ڈیڈ شیل ہیو ٹین ٹائمس دا لائک آف ہز کریڈٹ سو بیسکلی اکارڈنگ ٹو دس کرانک آیا اف یو فاسٹ فار ٹین ڈیز اللہ ول کاؤنٹ اٹ ٹین دا فاسٹنگ آف ٹین ڈیز اوکے یو فاسٹ اٹ فار ون ڈے اینڈ اللہ ول کاؤنٹ اٹ ہاؤ مینی ڈیز Misur, can you tell me? Uh, Allah will count. You, we can't hear you, Misur. Ummi Ahmad, can you tell me? If you fast for one day and Allah will count Misur. how many days? Like you have fasted 10 times. 10 days. 10 and days, yeah. If you fast for three days, Allah will count it how many days? Uh, 30 days. So this means you have fasted for the whole month. Okay. okay. Allah will write that you have fasted for the whole month continuously without any break. You will get the reward of a daily fasting. So previous hadith tells you that you cannot fast daily. And this hadith tells you that if you fast three days per month, it will be counted whole month. Okay, so this means if you fast every month three days, Allah will write your whole life in the state of fasting. Okay, so that is the meaning of this hadith and this Quranic ayah. So here we will write, now Ms. Hoor is asking what is the difference between daif and sahi hadith sahi hadith mean 100% correct hadith there is no doubt in it and daif hadith mean probably the narrator has made any mistake in it for example in this daif hadith the narrator told the days 13th 14th and 15th of every month so it can be wrong it can be correct. Second thing, if anything is said in Sahih Hadith, a Muslim cannot reject it. If it is a Sahih Hadith, a Muslim cannot reject it. If a Muslim rejects a Sahih Hadith, it will be considered as he is rejecting the Prophet Muhammad But in case of Daif Hadith, It is our choice. We can accept it or we can just ignore it. So choice is your. You can accept the daif hadith or you can ignore it. But Quranic ayah and Sahih hadith, you have to agree with it 100%. You don't have any other option in Quran and Sahih hadith. Okay, so first we will write what are the number of days for optional optional Fasting What are the number of days for optional fasting? fasting? So in the answer you will write according to Hadith 1709 of Sunan Ibn Majah any three days of the month according to Hadith 
according to Hadith 1709 of Sunan Ibn Majah, any three days. Din kon kon se hone chahiye? Koi bhi tin din. Aapki marzi. Koi isme open din hi hai. Kon se? Ko kuch log karte hain Monday or Thursday ko roza rakna chahiye. Nee, वैसे ही कहते हैं लोगों को कहने दें अगर दिन फिक्स करने देन यू कैन फिक्स द 13 14 एंड 15 बट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी यू कैन चूज एनी 3 डेज ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस वन यू कैन चूज द 13 14 एंड 15 बट इट इज नथिंग इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी यू कैन चूज एनी 3 डेज ऑफ द मंथ whatever you feel easy for you because there are some people they fast every monday thursday monday thursday they say yeah, the monday thursday the fast but according to this and this there is no restriction this and this is in front of you okay so you can fast any 3 days of the month Next, what if you fast every three days of the month? What if you fast every month for three days. What if you fast every month for three days? What if you fast every month for three days? Then you will write according to the Quranic ayah, Surah In'am, ayah 160. Allah will write it, the fasting for whole life. Okay. According to the Allah will Allah will write it fasting for the whole life. Allah will write it as the fasting for whole life. Reference is Quranic ayah. Surah Ali Naam, Ayah 160. Anyone repeat both questions and answers? What are the numbers of days for optional fasting? According to Hadith um, Sunan Ibn Majah 1709, any three days of the month. What if you fast every month for three days? According to Quranic Ayah Surah Al-An'am, Surah Ayah 160, Allah will write it in fasting, is, uh, Allah will write it as uh, fasting for the whole life. Yes, Abdul Razak, do you have any question? Yeah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so please, my question is Does a Sahih Hadith, um, are there any Sahih Hadith that contradicts the Quran? Your question is Is there any Sahih Hadith which contradicts the Quran? Yes, please. No, there is no such Hadith. There is no Sahih Hadith. 
Okay. So, um, second question is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih um, Muslim, is any hadith, all hadith inside, are they authentic? Are they yeah. Sahih? Yes, in Sahih al Bukhari and in Sahih al Muslim, both Imam, Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslims have written only the Sahih hadith in these two books. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Abdul Razak, now read this one. Or anyone read this hadith. It is narrated that Abu Salama said, Abu Salama said, I asked Aisha about the fasting of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said, he used to fast until we thought he would always fast. And he used not to fast until we thought he would always not fast. I never saw him fast more in any month than in Shaaban. He used to fast all of Shaaban. He used to fast all of Shaaban except a little. Sahih. Okay, now in this one as well. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast until we thought he would never stop fasting. And he used not to fast until we thought he would never fast. And he will never fasted any complete month apart from Ramadan from the time he came to al Madina. Okay. So this hadith tells us that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast quite often even other than Ramzan. In Ramzan, it was necessary for everyone. But in other days, often Prophet ﷺ used to fast quite regularly. But sometimes he used to take breaks just to tell the people that these fastings are not necessary. These are optional. And in the month of Shaban, he used to increase his number of fasting per month. So in Shaban, his fasts were more than other months. And most fasting were in the month of Ramadan, which is necessary and other are optional. No need to write any question for that. Now read this one. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Amr that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said the most beloved fast of Allah is the fast of Dawood for, for he used to fast one day and not the next and the most beloved of prayer to Allah is the prayer of Dawood. He used to sleep half of the night, pray one third of the night uh, and sleep one sixth of the night. In this one as well. It was narrated that Abu Abu Qatada said, Umar bin Qatab said, O Messenger of Allah, what about a person who fasts two days and does not? Not fast one day, he said, is anyone able to do that? He said, O Messenger of Allah, what about a person who fast one day and not uh, not the next? He said that he the that is the fast of Daud. He said, what about a man who fast one day and, and does not fast the next two days? He said, I wish that I were given the ability to do that okay so previously we have studied that a person cannot fast daily so let's suppose you have become very righteous person and you fell in love with the, the acts of worship like it is your love to pray optional salah nawafil salah it is your love to fast Fasting is kind of love of you. You like to fast more and more. Even in that case, you cannot fast daily. The maximum thing that you can do 
is this that you fast for one day and rest for the second day. Then fast for the third day and rest for the fourth day. But at the same time, Prophet ﷺ told us, is anyone able to do that? Basically, Prophet ﷺ was not expecting any Muslim to do that. But still, if anyone wants, they can do maximum this thing that fast for one day and rest for one day. Similarly, if you fell in love with the Salah, you want to pray Salah a lot, optional Salah a lot. And even in that case, you cannot pray Tahajjud Salah for the whole night. The maximum is to pray half of the night. Sleep half of the night and pray one third of the night and sleep one sixth of the night. That is the maximum thing you can do. But again, Prophet ﷺ was not expecting anyone to do that. No need to write any question. If anybody has any question, they can ask me, then we will stop the class. Okay, my my question is Yes. Um that on Yamul Juma it is not uh, permissible to fast a single fast on Yom Juma, except that you are um, fasting a fast that is more than a day and it falls on Yom Juma. So I'm asking if you want to follow the, or do the fast of Anabi uh, Dawood, um, alayhi salatu wasalam, what about if it falls on Friday? First of all, I want to understand if that is correct. It is uh, uh, authentic that it is not permissible to fast on a single day of Yom Juma except that it is preceded by another uh, uh, another day. I want to know how authentic it is. Then if it is authentic, then my question is, if you are fasting the fast of Dawood Ali Salatu Wasalam, and let's say you fast on Wednesday, and then you have to break on Thursday and continue on Friday, how, how do you do that? Is that also permissible? There is no restriction on the day of to fast on the day of Friday. You can fast any day of the week, any day of the month. There is no such restriction in any kind of this, as per my knowledge. So you can fast on Friday as well. Nothing wrong in it. Why oh. Yakum? Anybody? Any question? Uh, because in our country we have the white days, the like the thirteen and all. They call it white yes, days. Yes, my right. So I'll So, Mr. Muhammad, this is very famous among the people. But today we have studied that it is not necessary. It is one in the if this. So, if you want to fast for thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen days. On Monday or Thursday, you can do it. But reward for is same, whether you fast for any three days of the month or whether you fast Monday, Tuesday, or whatever days you people are saying. So it is nothing to do with the reward. Reward is same, whether you choose any three days of the month or whether you choose those specific days. Oh, okay, sure. Ms. Hoor, what's your question? Yes, my question was... So, Dina, fix Kane and Nakane, a matter in Katashi, a meet near Loka, Gurka, Jumu, Sumar, Mongol, Bodia, Tira, Choda, Pandra, fix Kane, Nakane, Skakita, Lukanya was important. She's a three days of the month. Any three days of the month may make it could be Tin Dino James Tanya. A Chakut look at an Okay. Let the people say what they are saying. Follow what is that you read yourself in the Quran and Hadith. Let the people do what they are doing.
Our job is just to convey them the message. That's why we're doing the hadith, alhamdulillah. And now we get to know more stuff, you know. Inshallah. Inshallah.